Luminite designed and manufactured Genesis wireless PIR detection systems in the UK. Genesis wireless PIR detectors are extremely reliable and can be placed on a site perimeter looking in without requiring any civil works. Perimeter mounting significantly reduces detection overspill and false alarms. The following video explains just how quick and simple this system is to install and set up. I'm about to go and do the site survey, but in order to do the site survey, first thing I've done here is I've mocked up the masthead that I'm going to use for the survey. It's close to where the masthead will go proper when the system's installed. Tamper switch here, and all I've had to do is set one dip switch to put the masthead into walk test mode. Now all I need to do is put the lid on and we can go out and do the walk test. This is the site's main entrance and exit, and this is the key place where all activity takes place. What we're going to achieve here is to place a detector that triggers whenever vehicles or people come into or out of the site. With a traditional cable system, we would be constrained by almost certainly having to place the detector on the inside of the site looking out. The problem we have here is there's a very busy road and we would almost certainly have lots of false alarms as a result. Because we're using a wireless system, we can place the detector in the best place for the job, which in this case is on the outside of the site looking in on that concrete post over there. Because the system's wireless, we're not constrained by cables, so we're not going to have the extra expense and time of having to do the civils and put cabling in. It's the quickest and easiest way. So here we are at the post where the detector is going to be mounted. To cover this area, this is going to be a wide angle, short range detector. And that will also ensure that any foliage here and over here isn't going to cause us issues with false alarms. So here we are on one of the extremes of the site. And this site's actually 1.2 kilometers across. We're around about 800 meters away from the masthead here and there's an awful lot of buildings and obstacles between us and the masthead. So to keep the signal strength optimum, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install a repeater on this building back there in the distance. This vulnerable area of the fence line and site boundary has to be covered by a detector. No problem with that, however, what is a problem is we've got lots of foliage which will cause false alarms. So it's down to estates management to make sure they keep on top of that. The first detector is going to be a Genesis 1 and I've already fixed the bracket to the wall. What I'm going to do now is actually get the main body and fit that. So here's the detector head. The only little bit of extra setup I've got to do here is just set the unique number on the dip switches here. Put the jumper on, power up and then affix the back screws. So the first detector is now installed on the wall above us and I've positioned it. Now all I need to do is use the walk test instrument to check the area of coverage for that detector. This is our second detector position, and this is a Genesis 2 60 meter narrow beam detector. Prior to mounting it, I've set the option switches here to power the unit on and set its unique address. All I need to do now is do some very rough pan and tilt adjustments. As you can see, the unit will actually pan through 180 degrees. So I'm just gonna roughly set it, roughly tighten the screw. We've also got a tilt adjustment there that gives us our overall distance. Now all I need to do is put the cover on and we'll do a walk test.
Okay, so now the site's completely configured, all the detectors are walk tested and working, which we've done previously with the walk test instrument. Now we're looking at the control end of the system, in this case video transmission, and how the masthead for the system interacts with that equipment. There's three different options. There's a masthead which has relay outputs which uses physical connections which we could use here. There's also a serial output option which again we could use here, but what we're using in this case is IP. So the masthead's actually plugged into the company network, as is the transmission equipment. I've configured the masthead using some PC software. Everything's up and running. All I need now to do is to do the final commissioning, which is where I'm going to watch what's going on on the system and also watch for the messages coming from the PIRs on this walk test instrument. Thank you.